The sound of fiddles and other musical instruments filled the air at the Yankton 4-H grounds this weekend as the 41st annual South Dakota Fiddle Contest came back to town. Catherine Henning serves as treasurer for the Fiddlers of South Dakota, and she says the contest draws in competitors from all over the country. Well, the contestants are broken up into about two categories, uh, South Dakotans and people from outside South Dakota. So we get South Dakotans from all over the state, and then we also get people from all over the country uh, competing against each other in uh, uh, their age division, and then we have championships where all of them can compete together regardless of their age. Henning added that playing the fiddle is something that can be entertaining for the whole family regardless of age. The age ranges uh, this year, I believe, ranged from uh, 11 to about 93 years old. So uh, it's, it's kind of a hobby that you can do at any point in your life, and it's never too late to start playing fiddle. I started at about age 25. Uh, people, there's some people in there who started uh, after they retired. So it's a, it's a, a hobby that you can keep improving at. It's fun. It's uh, not that physically demanding, and it's something you can do with your whole family. Yes, the fiddle contest was started in Yankton 41 years ago by Wilbur Foss, who is a native of Scotland, South Dakota, and has also lived in Yankton. Henning said that Foss still participates in the contests, even at the age of 92. Wilbur is competing in the contest as we speak. He's uh, um, been at the contest probably as uh, many years as he's been able to make it, he's, uh, he's still very active in the organization. Fiddle contestant Judy Oliver has also been competing since the contest began in 1972. She enjoys the contest because she says it's more than just trying to win. One, it's just so nice to come back and, and uh, see all of our musical friends and people in the audience who have come year after year and uh, to see um, make new friends and remember all the old ones who have passed on. You know, and they were really contribute a lot to the contest, and I've known them, knew them from way back. And Oliver said she encourages kids to get involved with fiddling as well. I'm really pleased to see the kids coming. We need to keep fiddling alive, and it's, everybody's just so good to the kids. And I've seen them come just as little ones, and now you know they're contest winners and grown up. Regardless of age, the fiddlers proved this weekend in Yankton that their heart is truly in their music.